you told me that you're still voting for him. Why? Well, Mick, and this it wasn't a decision I made uh, casually. We spent some time uh, at the staff level. That's why you have to hire some more people to help you uh, examine these issues because they're, they're complicated. We, uh, so we did that. We also sent a questionnaire to him, a series of seven or eight basic questions, some of them relating to some of the issues you raised. Um, some of them, how did we get here? What are we going to do in the future? He answered those very thoroughly. I spoke to him on the phone and walked through some other issues. And I raised within this, you know, what do we do about job creation? Uh, the basic question that we're addressing. He's had some good ideas that are already on the record, but, but there are some limitations in terms of what he can get into, and actually some limitations on his own authority. But ultimately, there are two, I guess there are two basic reasons uh, that I was supporting. One is, I was on the banking committee um, at the time of the uh, at the time of the uh, news about our financial system in the fall of 08. and I was kind of watching him very closely because we had lots of not just hearings, but a lot of closed door meetings in our caucus, telephone calls, conference calls, a lot of different things. And I think you could we we could have a lot of debates or arguments about what happened up to the crisis, but I think after the reality of that was staring him in the face and staring all of us in the face. I think he acted uh, with a lot of uh, a lot of strength. He took some some, some risks that probably a lot of Fed chairmen wouldn't. I think he was, uh, unlike Mr. Greenspan, not ideological. He was very practical. He knew there's an emergency and he couldn't just have business as usual saying, well, we can't do this, we can't do that. Uh, he took steps that no Fed chairman has ever taken. So I thought he was on, not only honest about the crisis, but I think he was a, a calming, but uh, a calming voice, but also a voice of urgency for the Bush administration, administration to say, and, and including Secretary Paulson, to say we've got to do something about this. In so many words, so I think it's that before and after. I think the after, uh, what he did after the crisis hit, much. In, in a very singular way, may have may have saved us from falling into that abyss. I'm not saying he deserves all the credit, but he was a. If you had to pick three people or five people in the whole country that, that kept us out of the abyss, I think he's one of them. But in addition to that, this is something I thought. Of. I, I I was wrestling with the idea that he, could I, he, he came in under. Could, could I yeah, ask a question about that? Do you know what he did? Because that's been another major criticism well, is the opacity. Uh, you know keeping things secret. It came out yesterday that his board of governors recommended against the bailout of AIG and he overruled them. He's kept the counterparty to AIG secret. I think those documents are beginning to leak out. Well, the, the transparency issues are ones that, uh, frankly, Senator Jorgen raised and with a, a lot of high degree of frustration. And that's, I think that's something we got to continue to pursue. But but uh, so why not delay the vote? Why not delay the vote until he answers some of those concerns? Well, here's what I'm worried about. If it looks as if there's that, that he's under fire, his his reappointment is uh, in jeopardy. I'm concerned about the financial markets, um, and that's I've heard that from a lot of people who actually pay close attention. To the other point here is, you know, I thought of him in various times as they. they Bush appointee is not inappropriate to say that because he did work in that administration. But he's now, he's not only in this new administration, but the president, who doesn't make these decisions lightly, has made a determination that he wants him to be appointed. And that's another serious factor. It's something actually I didn't think about until recently. I was thinking about the merits and how did you do before the crisis, after the crisis. But when I consider um, when I put as much emphasis as I do on the after, plus the Obama, those two factors I think are are, uh, are central. But look, um, I think the Fed is under more scrutiny now than it's ever been, and appropriately so. Not just on transparency, but how it works, how it contributes, and whether it contributes enough to help us create jobs. You had mentioned that um, you're concerned about the markets. Wouldn't the markets be much worse off if we went ahead and despite all the opacity, despite the wall that he's put up in terms of transparency, confirmed the guy that is actually screwing the job up. I mean, don't you want to know that he's doing a good job? Because 
markets can tank even worse if you're putting the wrong guy in. I right? give them good marks. I give them good marks for how he responded to right Even though you don't know how he responded, because he won't show anyone. No, I mean we do. We do know good about the windows that were open and, and the, some of the tips they took that had never taken. Um, and that, of course, raises other questions. Both well, in respond that way in a crisis, what about for that? And that's that's an area I think that, that warrants a lot of further examination. But um, the, the uh, remember the last point I was going to make about the, the oh the other question. Let's just say okay, we don't reconfirm it. Who comes after us? Because we're still dealing with crowd over there that that won't uh, won't confirm or, or won't confirm anyone who's not a conservative or, or ideological Republican or will prevent us from confirming. And I will say this about uh, Chairman Benank. He's never said this to me. This is only my opinion. Listening to him privately, literally one-on-one -on -one in a larger group, knowing a little bit about, about his background, um, I think he's a lot less conservative than some, some Democrats think. Uh, 